Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Honky Tonk Man, Mean Guitar. So Honky Tonk Man is the free card this month. Everyone gets him starting out. He is a Legend Era striker. He's a defensive striker. He has the one link, the Legends Era. Gems do 10% more damage. And the Mean Guitar gear. He is a trainer. At 18k, X-Break Gems do 50% more damage. He is useful for the new Chase character, who is the Ultimate Warrior Acrobat. Um, so Honky Tonk Man, I think, is going to be a welcome addition to a lot of people's rosters. And we'll kind of talk about that uh, right shortly here. Um, starting off, I don't have a skill plate on him. I don't think it, either any of them are going to make like a massive difference. Um, that I'm going to show you or recommend sort of thing. So we're just going to run without it. I also don't have um, a good percentage move damage metal in Fury for black. So I won't have one of those to um, buff the black moves like I would like to. But other than that, I do have a level 15 um, all gem damage 30% uh, metal on there. So there is that. So that's the strap we're going to run for the this whole particular preview. And let's take a look at this first move set. Um, this is a five star move set. It's okay. He's got a good uh, three star move set as well. Um, so if you look here, um, this move set makes a lot of immobile gems. And the marquee tour is strikers um, every other weekend. And one of the things is making immobile gems. So He's going to be very, very good for the stipulation marquee tour um, and completely uh, free. So that is a really welcome addition. And I think uh, everyone will see, uh, well, everyone who doesn't have, let's say, like Striker HBK is a go-to. And some people use Dude Love, I think, too, for that tour. Um, he'll be a welcome addition. So if you don't have one of those and you want to do that stipulation tour, you'll want to level him up a decent amount this month. Anyway, first move set. 5-star Scoop Slam, 8 MP, uh, Black Move. This is the 5-star move. Deal 91k damage and choose 7 gems to make into purple. You could start with this move. I'd rather just start with the purples. Uh, diving Fist Drop, 86k damage and make 30 immobile gems into black, 7 MP. Belly to Back Suplex, 84k damage and modify a 6x6 random area into mobile gems. That's 36 mobile gems. That's 7 MP as well. So you're making a bunch of black gems. Uh, Entourage, we are going to run with Woods and Vince, two more purple MP for Vince at this level. Um, of course, going with uh, Feud set, not um, not tour sets. Uh, Santa Hogan, if you got him, Eddie, or Powerhouse Hogan, if you have him. If you don't have them, that's okay. Anything that has black gem damage will be fine uh, at the coach position. If you don't have that, then maybe uh, purple move damage, black move damage, or even like a, a gem defense coach or MP down uh, kind of coach. So that's what we're going to roll with. And let's get out here on the road and take a look. We're all going to go against five star gold to powerhouse Ivar tonight. I do have tour perks. Um, they're active and I'm sure his bonus is active. Let's take a look. Um, no, he does not have a bonus active currently. So this is what he will look like when the month is over. All right. Pretty straightforward move set. You're just going to change a block and then you're going to make it uh, black. As long as there's six black gems. You're going to make the whole thing, and we're going to do that. That's 36 black gems. So, 1.1 million. Uh, not bad at all. Ivar did manage to kick out. And then we're just going to use our choose to set that back up. One match is enough. We do have some pin bar to work with, and I just as soon get rid of some of um, some of those loot box gems. I don't want to go too crazy. I don't want to force a pin. It is me. There we go. 
course, we drop some loot box gems into. Not that it really matters, because we're going to turn them black anyway if we're in that area. But, you know, maybe you connect to some of them. Probably not, since they're not on one of the edges, but whatever. Extra buttons to click anyway. Little baby cascade, not too much. Almost 1.1 million again. Oh, is Ivar gonna no sell? Mm, nope, he doesn't. Even if he did, we were ready to go again. So recycle's really nice. Uh, should be fantastic for those stipulation tours, because you're gonna make and break um, 30 plus every turn. Um, so I actually really like that build. Um, this is to show you the other move. Uh, the other one of the other black moves the reversal we probably won't end up using it uh because very unlikely we'll get pinned so that's the only thing we're going to change and then um just to show damage difference with if you had eddie and you had hogan uh powerhouse i'll put them on for this one too um just in case you you were curious if you had both of those what that immobile damage looks like so six mp reversal it's a kick out Deal 124k damage and gain almost 500k health, 498k health. Uh, so we're going to just do the same thing, except we're going to put Powerhouse Hogan on for 100% of mobile damage. Since all of those gems we were breaking are immobile gems. Oops, let's go gem damage here. Might as well get 100% here. Same principle. We were hitting for like 1.5 and 1.1 million. Let's see what we do uh, with this. <clears throat> of course, this doesn't recycle the purple uh, with the kick out. So I wouldn't normally use the kick out for any of his builds, but this is just in there to show you the move. Um, of course, you can see it there. Um, the health gain is inaccurate because the damage uh, adds on to it for some reason, even if it, it's visual. So it still is that right around 500k mark. All right. Let's see what we pop off for here. Not that much more, 1.13, but we did miss three immobile gems. So a little bit more, but not a ton more. And uh, we did keep them down so we didn't have to worry about the fact that we didn't recycle. Literally, that's just in there to have the kick out move um, for you guys. And the last move set will be the three moves we haven't seen. I uh, actually really like this move set too. Because um, it's really low charge. Um, so I could see this being useful for a lot of people uh, and a lot of accounts, uh, potentially. So let's just switch everything out and get all the moves in you haven't seen. And this is available at oh, at three star. Uh, so I would imagine this is the way I will run him most of the month personally. I should probably talk about the moves, huh, guys? Shake, rattle, and roll. 10 MP finisher. Deal 148k damage and choose a 1x7 area to swap into yellow gems. Arm twist elbow strike. 6 MP yellow. Deal 78k damage. Modify a 1x6 random area into row breaks. And the arm drag. 6 MP yellow. Deal 75k damage and increase your black MP by 10. So, of course, we're going to go with Kofi um, to get started. And this would be charged in feud with just Kofi. Mm hmm. Mm, there you are, Kofi. And we're going to go with Slick Rick since we are blowing up the board. 20% gem damage uh, across the board, I guess, makes sense. So let's go with that. You could also do, um, since you're placing yellow, you could actually do yellow gem damage as well. Because um, you are getting a few yellows, but we'll go 20% to all. Tana Hogan, because it's all gems. And then uh, we'll put Captain Rubberbeard Beef Stroganoff on there. Uh, he's got 25% yellow gem damage. He was in the 
in the uh, trivia market, the, the flash market. So some of you may have farmed him up uh, if you didn't have him. If you don't have him, uh, if you happen to do Hall of Fame month, Hall of Fame Booker has a little bit of yellow gem damage. Anything with yellow gem damage is fine. Uh, if you don't have that, you may as well throw like a uh, black gem damage since it's his primary color, or maybe a dual color trainer like a Lacey Evans since you are blowing up the board. Any of those would work. Um, cheap shot and kids lightning. Kids lightning is when you break yellow, change purple to blue. Nothing great about the colors, but maybe just get a little extra damage in um, on the finisher when you're choosing a yellow area. So. I do love the fact that it's a six charge, six MP charge moves, so they charge really easily. Uh, big fan of that. So they randomly go out, and we are going to blow up all of the board sands one row. Big damage on the finisher. And again, I don't have a good metal. And then let's blow this board up. See if we get a cascade. Not a too big of a cascade. Uh, almost a million damage. And of course, it refills itself. Now, you also, if you wanted to be really uh, squirrely, you could throw a boss plate on if you want to play for turn two. We're already blowing up the board anyway, so that doesn't really make sense to me personally. Um, seems like a waste of a boss plate. Anyway. A Honky Tonk Man is the free character. He's got a 6 MP build and then a, another build that um, relies on immobile gems and is going to be really, really useful in that marquee striker stipulation tour. So all in all, I think a great free edition um, Legend Era striker that can do a lot for uh, a lot of accounts out there and is useful. So let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, be looking for my... Um, Ultimate Warrior Acrobat video as well. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there.